Hello dear children, today we will do exercise 5.2 of unit 5 that is common fractions. Now in this exercise we will be doing the questions related to comparison of unit fractions. Dear students, we have already learned that how we can compare unit fractions and how we can just looking at the unit fraction tell that which fraction is greater and which one is smaller. So let's get started. Question number one is which fraction is greater in each pair? Verify your answer by cross multiplication method. Now first of all by just looking at the fractions we have to tell which fraction is greater and after that we have to verify our answer that how it is greater or smaller. Fine. So let's get started. The first part is 1 by 7 and 1 by 9. Both the fractions are unit fractions. So we have to tell by just looking at these fractions which one is greater. So 1 by 7 is greater than 1 by 9 because we have learned that unit fraction with smaller denominator is always greater and now we have to prove it by verifying our answer. So 1 by 7 and 1 by 9 we have to cross multiply it okay means we have to multiply the numerator of first fraction by the denominator of second fraction and then numerator of second fraction by the denominator of first fraction so 1 into 9 is 9 and 1 into 7 is 7 so 9 is greater than 7 but the main fraction from which we have got 9 is 1 by 7. So if 9 is greater, it means 1 by 7 is greater. If 7 is smaller, it means its main fraction that is unit fraction. 1 by 9 is smaller. So by this method, that is cross multiplication method, we have proved that why we said that 1 by 7 is greater than 1 by 9. It has been proved here. Okay, so this is how we can just prove whether or how the given unit fraction is greater than the other one. Let's see the second part 1 by 11 and 1 by 7. So by just looking at these unit fractions we can tell that 1 by 7 is greater than 1 by 11. So now we have to verify it. Again we will do the cross multiplication means we will multiply the first numerator then the denominator of the second fraction and uh, we have to multiply the numerator of second fraction by the denominator of first fraction. So after multiplying, after cross multiplying, we will get 7 and 11. So we know that 11 is greater than 7. So if 7 is less, so its main fraction that is 1 by 11 is less. If 11 is greater, its main unit fraction that is 1 by 7 is greater. So hence it is proved that 1 by 7 is greater than 1 by 11. Now the C part 1 by 3 and 1 by 9. Again by just looking at these unit fractions we can tell 1 by 3 is greater than 1 by 9 because the unit fraction with smaller denominator is always greater. Now we have to prove it. So let us verify by cross multiplication method. So 1 by 3 1 by 9 we have to do the cross multiplication means multiply the numerator of first fraction by the denominator of second fraction. So 1 into 9 we will get 9. Then multiply the numerator of second fraction by the denominator of first fraction that is 1 into 3 equals to 3. So here 9 and 3. So 9 is greater than 3. So if 9 is greater so its main unit fraction from which we have got 9 is 1 by 3. It means 1 by 3 is also greater. So if 3 is smaller its main unit fraction that is 1 by 9 is smaller. So hence it is proved that 1 by 3 is greater than 1 by 9. Now let us do the D part 1 by 17 and 1 by 25. Now first of all by just looking at these fractions, these unit fractions we have to tell which fraction is greater. So the fraction with smaller denominator is greater in case of unit fractions. Okay. Now we have to verify our answer that what we are saying is correct or not. For that what we are supposed to do write both the fractions and then we have to cross multiply. Okay, it means we have to multiply the numerator of first fraction by the denominator of second fraction. So it will be 25 and then we have to multiply the numerator of first fraction, uh, the second fraction by the denominator of first fraction. So we will have 17. So out of 25 and 17, see 25 and 17, which one is greater? 25 is greater. So if 25 is greater, so we have got 25 from the first fraction means 1 by 17 and we have got 17 from the second fraction. 
that is 1 by 25 so if 25 is greater so its main fraction that is 1 by 17 it will be greater so hence we have proved that why we have said that the fraction with smaller denominator is always greater in case of unit fractions so i hope you would have understood how to compare the unit fractions okay now after this let us do the second question of this exercise and the question is which fraction is smaller in each pair so if in case of unit fractions by uh, just looking at the unit fractions we can tell which fraction is greater so obviously we can also say we can also tell that which fraction is smaller so 1 by 25 and 1 by 23 so the fraction with greater denominator will be smaller so 1 by 25 is smaller here 1 by 11 and 1 by 17 so again the fraction with greater denominator will be smaller so 1 by 17 is smaller next is 1 by 9 and 1 by 99 so again fraction with greater denominator is smaller means 1 by 99 is smaller and in the d part 1 by 15 and 1 by 23 so again the fraction with greater denominator is smaller and this is the case when we have to compare unit fractions okay now let us move on to the third question write less than greater than or equal to in the box to make a correct sentence means we have to tell whether the uh, given fraction is less than greater than or equal to so what we can do see the first fraction 1 by 7 and 1 by 9 so we can easily tell the fraction with smaller denominator is greater it means 1 by 7 is greater than 1 by 9 now let us see the second fraction 1 by 6 and 2 by 12 now here both are not unit fractions so let us uh, let us just uh, bring this fraction in the lowest terms okay so 2 ones are 2 2 six are 12 now this fraction has also become unit fraction and both are equal 1 by 6 1 by 6 the next fraction 1 by 13 and 1 by 8 so fraction with smaller denominator is greater so 1 by 8 is greater and 1 by 13 is obviously smaller next 1 by 19 and 1 by 79 so fraction with smaller denominator is greater it means 1 by 79 is smaller so this is how you can compare the unit fractions and tell which fraction is smaller and which one is greater now let us do the next question of this exercise question number four there are some packets of potato chips in a shop rajni bought one by three of the packets and vicky bought one by seven of the packets each packet costs rupees 20 who paid less money so there is a shop in that shop there are some potato chips packets of potato chips we don't know how many Rajni is a girl who bought 1 by 3 of the packets. We don't know the number of packets she bought. We only know the fraction of packets she bought. That is 1 by 3. And there is one boy named Vicky who bought 1 by 7 of the packets. Now each packet costs rupees 20. So who paid less money? So let us solve this sum. Uh, there is no need to write any statement in this sum but if you want to write you can write okay so i'll be doing it directly because this is the case of unit fractions so i'll be comparing the unit fractions and after that i'll be finding the answer okay so let us do it so uh, let us compare okay now first of all rajni bought one by three of the packets and vicky bought one by seven of the packets so how I, how can we compare question number four see rajni bought one by three of the packets so and uh, vicky bought one by seven of the packets now what we can do there is one more method write the first fraction and multiply it by the denominator of the second fraction okay so you will get seven ones are seven and seven threes are twenty one then write the second fraction and multiply both the numerators and denominators of this fraction that is numerator and denominator of this fraction by the denominator of the first fraction okay so it will be 3 by 21 now we have got these two fractions 7 by 21 and 3 by 21 so 
सेवन बाय ट्वेंटी वन वी हैव गॉट फ्रॉम विच फ्रैक्शन वन बाय थ्री एंड थ्री बाय ट्वेंटी वन वी हैव गॉट बाय विच फ्रैक्शन वन बाय सेवन सो इट शोज दैट इन दैट शॉप देर वर ट्वेंटी वन पटेट पैकेट्स ऑफ पोटेटो चिप्स एंड आउट ऑफ दोज पैकेट्स हु बॉट वन बाय थ्री द गर्ल नेम्ड रजनी सो रजनी बॉट वन बाय थ्री इट मीन्स आउट ऑफ ट्वेंटी वन रजनी बॉट सेवन पैकेट्स सो लेट इज राइट द स्टेटमेंट विशाल finished examination earlier by earlier by 1 by 4th of the total time okay then abdul finished examination earlier by 1 by 5 of the total time so it's your choice that in these two questions question number 4 and 5 whether you want to write this statement or not so now let us solve it 1 by 4 One by five, and we will cross multiply it. Or you can say one by four. We will multiply both numerator and denominator by the denominator of the second fraction. So we'll get five by twenty, and then second fraction multiply by the denominator of first fraction. So it will be four by twenty. So it means total time for examination was 20 minutes because in fraction the denominator shows total number of things okay means whole and the numerator shows part okay so it means that out of 20 minutes 1 by 4 fraction is of vishal so vishal finished his examination 5 minutes before okay and abdul finished his examination 4 minutes before it means out of 20 vishal took 15 minutes we can write here roughly vishal took 15 minutes and abdul took 20 minus 4 means 16 minutes so we can easily tell who took more time to finish the examination okay so by just looking at these two fractions so uh, vishal finished 5 minutes before abdul finished 4 minutes before so 20 minus 5 is 15 and 20 minus 4 is 16 so here we can easily tell that abdul took more time in writing the examination therefore abdul took more time in writing the examination because here we don't have to tell which fraction is greater here we have to show that who took more time and in this fraction we are talking about time okay so we have to show that who took more time so we have to think uh according to the time okay because here in these fractions we can't say that uh denominators are same and 5 is greater so 5 by 20 will be greater and we shall took more time no here the fraction shows that both the persons finished the examination a uh, few minutes before okay so one person finished 5 minutes before and another 4 minutes before so we can find out who took more time so dear students i hope you would have understood the exercise we have done today that is 5.2 thank you